G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Helicontex Bushcraft Range Dump Pouch. So here it is, the Helicontex Bushcraft Dump Pouch in its folded up form. Now we'll go through the details a list here. It's made of Kodora 500 and it's Molly Pell's Juju Belt compatible and they say possibility to lower the pouch which I'll show you that. Accommodates one litre bottles. Perfect for collecting kindling. Shock cord with stopper to secure the contents. Velcro closure and the dimensions folded well, I've folded it one extra, but normally it's out here, and they say 13 by 7 by 4. Unfolded 24 by 12 by 10, that's centimetres. The whole capacity of the pouch itself is 2.8 litres, and it weighs in at 84 grams. And the colour options, coyote brown, earth brown and clay, and OD green. And if you're interested, I've got these from one of my favourites again, Survival Supplies Australia which is my local store and I'll put a link down in the comments section below for you to go and have a look. So let's start with it. We've got a little badge on the front here which is the Bushcraft logo for Helicontex which is quite a nice little pouch. Oh, we've got rain coming again what it sounds like. And we have a D-ring at the top. So if you wanted to just connect that onto the carabiner, you can connect that and put it anywhere you want on your pouch and your belt. And on the back, like I said, is Molly Powers combat compatible. And I'll show you what that is in a moment. So we've got the one webbing, the second webbing, but this is a double one. So if you use a two inch here, you still got somewhere to pass it through underneath and bring it back under the second one which will hold it in place. So let's put that out of the way for now. And this little piece I just took off is if you want to put it on your belt without using the webbing. You just put it through the D-ring and lock it shut and there it goes. Now clip onto your belt. Or you might even clip on to your webbing on your pack. So leaving that there, you can see we've got the cord lock there and the bungee. So just pull here the Velcro and drop it down and one, two, and it's open. The measurements they gave were if you folded it this way. That's the measurements they gave, the 13 by 7 by 4. But if you go smaller, you do it smaller. So it's out of the way. And the way I do that, I just fold into thirds. One, two, again one, two into thirds, and bring the Velcro down, and that's it done. So it's a lot smaller and out of the way and not much thicker. Now we'll get into this. We open it all the way up. It's got a nice little grommet at the bottom. Got the Velcro on the inside, so when you want to, you can just put that down there out of the way and just have it as your dump pouch for your kindling or whatever you're using it for. Again, this one was. Let's take that off now. Designed in Poland and crafted in Vietnam. Put that over there. And by the looks, it's got a waterproof coating on the inside. Not, not as good as your packs. Or it may even just be the, the back of the stitching, but it looks slightly different. So I think they have got a slight coating on it to give you some water resistance to help keep your kindling dry. 
work wise on it the stitching is just beautiful there's no loose threads it's all just finished off nice and neat and tidy and you can just feel its quality and again like I said you do this one handed so if you've got anything in there just pull your bungee and it closes shut close the top off let's see how far they go that's just with one pull but if you play with it It's about two inches, but you probably get it down to about an inch if you took your time. But then still again, even if you don't close it all the way, let's open this back up. You can always pull the flap over and valve throw it to hold it closed and cover that hole up. Now why did I get this one when I've got a hydration pouch and the bushcraft range? Well, I'll show you once I've put this on the uh, belt. But wearing this one, even though it's really good, with this one being folded up, it's not going to be sticking out as far as this one when it's all out here. And also at the same time, if you've got a bottle in this, you can cinch it up so the top closes is smaller. Where this won't be as small, you've still got all the width. Still a very good pouch. I'm not getting rid of it, I'm keeping it for my other pack. This one, just a little bit more versatile. And if it'll do more than one job, then it's a good thing as far as I'm concerned. As you can see, you can fit a normal water bottle in there nice and easy. You know, you want to see 750 ml. But what I've brought along to show you is the American kidney canteen which is about one litre dropped in there with ease so there's no messing around again give it a tug close up even further now soften the material a bit so put that over and that's your kidney canteen in there Clean canteen, which is 40 ounces, which is just under 1.2 litres. And as you can see in size, there's a bit of difference here. So that can go in. Give that a tug. Just see the top of the bottle there. Turn it around if you want to, it doesn't matter. Bring the valve over. There you are. Fits really nice. And you've still got room in the pack or in the pouch there. So again, that can go on your belt. Or go on your molly. So what I'll do now, I'll fix this to my belt where it's going to be permanent or until I change my mind. And show you what it looks like and how it fits. Now the easiest way to put a pouch on any molly webbing is when the pouch is empty. So let's move that over there. Let's move that back up there. And bring my pouch over here. Let's close that off now. Now I'm right handed so what I'm going to do is put this pouch on my right hand side so if I have a water bottle in it it's going to be easier for me to get out and if you're left handed you can put it on the opposite side and here like I said you can connect connect it to anywhere on these points. So on this belt of the Matilda, we've got one, two, three, four connection points and a fifth one right at the back 
which is a final one which goes in there which really you could just hang a carabiner and have something hanging down your back but to put a small pouch on it's not going to work so I'm going to get onto this one here so it sits next to this here and also have room to get in and out of it both sides let's take this off don't want it there for now Two, three, put it through that top one, send it through the middle one here, and put it through the, I could put it through this one if you want to be nice and secure. And then just fold it back on itself into the behind the webinar pouch and that's that connected now so if I just fold it up again and show you one two one two and in that sits in there nice uh, I might do that one up and notice that I haven't taken that one all the way to the bottom Do that one. I'm going to do that one too while I think about it to make them easier to use. So I may get another one of these dump pouches and put it on this side so I've got two so I can carry two canteens and that means I don't have to carry as much water in the back taking up space and I've got more usable space in the back of the pack. But I'll put this on now and I'll show you how easy it is for me to use it. And that I'll just hook around there for now. Just have a look away. So here it is here, and you can see it, so it's used, and we'll pull it up, and it's there. Drop that inside, and if you get a bottle, or even a larger canteen, that's gone in there nice, and a single hand pull. And it cinched it up. So if I wanted to get anything out again. Gently flip a bit. Just pull the cord from the opposite side. And that's it. In and out. So there you go, that's the third edition to the Matilda backpack from Helicon Tech's uh, Bushcraft range. So I've got the pack, and the first addition to it was the snug pack uh, dry sack for the inside, keep all my gear. Then the second editions were the Helicon Tech's compass survival pouches, and now the Helicon Tech's Bushcraft range dump pouch stroke water con uh, container holder or water bottle holder. So that's it all still quite neatly out the way it's not sticking out so it's not going to be getting in my way when I'm walking or catching on anything as I'm walking by so all good so if you've enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed to my channel already please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and then select all which is normally at the top of the list and that way you can be notified of all future videos that will be coming out and if uh, you haven't already click the thumbs up button the like button and share it with all your mates and if you are a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care